Adobe Illustrator excels at working with vector artwork, which is made up of shapes and lines rather than pixels. But you can also add raster images to your designs. Raster images like JPEGs or PNGs consist of pixels which are aligned on a grid to form an image. When raster images are scaled up or down, they can quickly lose quality and appear distorted and or fuzzy. In Illustrator, if you want to scale or edit a raster image, you can trace the image to create editable paths from it. When you do that, you're essentially turning a raster image into vector artwork, which can be easily scaled up or down without losing quality. Using this project, you'll learn about tracing raster images to create vector artwork. Then you'll see how to edit that traced or vector artwork. Finally, you'll add that artwork to an existing design on the right. If you want to follow along, you can open this file from the downloadable practice files. With the selection tool selected, click the image on the left to select it. This is a picture taken of a drawing in a sketchbook. Now to capture just the robot sketch and add it to the birthday card design on the right, you'll trace the image to convert it from raster to vector artwork using the image trace feature in Illustrator. With the image selected, click the image trace button in the properties panel on the right. Now when you trace an image, you have a series of options you can set from the menu that appears, depending on the result you want. So choose default to start. The setting can be really useful if you want to trace content and separate it from a background, for instance. To try another tracing option, click the preset option that now shows in the properties panel on the right and choose low fidelity photo from the menu. It looks more like the original image, including being in color now. Now to get the main shapes you need, choose Sketched Art from the same preset menu. There are a host of other options for fine tuning your tracing in the image trace panel you can open here, but our tracing looks good, so we don't need to change any of those options. Now even though this image is traced and converted to shapes, it still isn't editable yet. When you're finished tracing, you can expand the artwork so it can be edited. Know that once you expand traced artwork, you cannot try other trace settings. You are essentially committing to the tracing you already created. So click the expand button in the properties panel to be able to edit the vector artwork. Now to select just the robot artwork, you're gonna use the lasso tool. So in the tools panel on the left, press and hold down on the direct selection tool, this white arrow, and select the lasso tool in the menu that appears. Come out to the artwork, and drag around the robot shape carefully to select just the robot head. If you select more than necessary, try dragging around again. Now to copy this robot head, so we can put a copy on the right, choose Edit, Copy. Then choose Edit, Paste to paste a copy. This robot head is actually made up of a series of smaller traced objects. To keep them together, you'll group them. Click the Group button, towards the bottom of the Properties panel. Now to move the robot head into position on the right, select the Selection tool and drag the robot over here. So that it fits within this blue shape, you'll resize it. So drag a corner of the selected artwork and make it a little smaller. As you drag, press the Shift key so you don't distort the artwork. When it's about this big, release the mouse button and then the Shift key. Then drag it into the center of the blue shape behind it. To change the color of the robot head, click the fill color in the properties panel on the right, make sure this swatch option is selected, and select this white color. You can then press the escape key to hide the colors. So you can more easily see the final artwork, choose select, deselect. Now that you know how to trace images in Illustrator and convert them to editable vector artwork, you can trace images to add additional vector artwork to your designs, like tracing photo textures to add textured backgrounds, or tracing hand lettering you draw, and so much more.